Hey guys, let's start 55th episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. Will Mbappe stay? What is the secrets of Messi's new contract? Who could depart from Barcelona? Holland bid has been rejected. Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before starting this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Real Madrid have tabled only one contract extension offer to Rafael Varane. Goal has learned, with the Blancos now accepting that the French defender is likely to move on as they wait on an offer from Manchester United. Discussions have been held regarding a move to England, with a formal approach from Old Trafford expected to be made in the coming days. Varon is eager to leave on good terms, with a positive working relationship enjoyed with Blanco's president Florentino Perez. England remains Varon's most likely destination, with Manchester United having been tracking the Frenchman. Juventus are set to ramp up their pursuit of Manchester City's Gabriel Jesus, handing Pep Guardiola a new attacking problem. For the Sun, City have so far been unable to replace Sergio Agro following the Argentines' exit, with Tottenham holding firm on Harry Kane's future. Jesus meanwhile is attracting serious interest from the Bayern and if he were to, to go, it would leave the Premier League champions light of another striker option. Inter will look to loan Dalbert Henrique out once more this season, with the left-back expected to head to Cagliari, says Tedo Mercado left. The 27-year-old arrived from Nice four years ago but has spent the last two terms away from San Siro with Fiorentina and Rennes. Now, he looks set to move to another home in Italy, with Cagliari holding the option to make his move permanent at the end of the 2021-2022 campaign. The striker could be set for a move across London. Arsenal are interested in a move for Chelsea striker Tammy Abraham, reports The Telegraph. The Blues have been offering Abraham to other clubs as they look to raise funds for a bid for Erling Holland. With Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette both over 30, the Gunners are looking for younger striker options. Buke Osaka says that he will not let his Euro 2020 final penalty miss and the subsequent abuse he received online break him and insists that social media companies are not doing enough to prevent offensive messages. I have stayed away from social media for a few days to spend time with my family and reflect on the last few weeks. Saka posted on Twitter, This message won't do just as how grateful I am for all the love that I have received, and I feel that I need to thank everyone who has supported me. Love always wins. Like everyone else in football, Walter Sabatini was stunned when he heard Jose Mourinho was on his way to Roma. The former Gelorese director described the Portuguese coach's appointment as an earthquake, and it certainly sent shockwaves through the dressing room. I still can't believe it, defender Marish Cumbala told Goal last month. It'll be like a dream to be coached by Mourinho. You've got the worst of the worst, Di Canio claimed. I understand you needed a big name, but it's like when you sign a player who's finished. He doesn't even play football, he plays anti-football. Riyad Mahrez has admitted that he cannot see what is higher than playing for Manchester City, stressing his long-term commitment at the Etihad Stadium as he looks to add to his trophy cabinet, and doesn't want to go anywhere else. What if I want to go higher? The 30-year-old said when asked by YouTube channel We Hustle, I do not see what is higher than Manchester City, to try another championship elsewhere. No, I really love England and English football is wonderful. I don't want to leave. I still have goals to pursue here. When you see Guardiola wants you, it's flattering. The acclimatation here was not easy, but our relationship today, everyone knows is great. Sky Sport in Germany are reporting that Robert Lewandowski will not be leaving Bayern Munich this summer, even though there has been some talk of a possible transfer. The striker is not for sale and is expected to stay with the German champions. Despite a good start to his Everton career, it hasn't gone well for James Rodriguez in England and Everton are looking to move on from the Colombian this summer. According to journalist Ekram Connor, they would accept an offer of 20 million euros. Manchester City and Chelsea have been linked with Inter striker Romelu Lukaku in recent days, but Federico Pastorello, the player's agent, has made clear that there are no issues with the Nerazzurri. Inter do not want to lose Lukaku? Jose Mourinho has been desperate to bring Arsenal midfielder Granit Xhaka to Roma, and it seems that the Portuguese coach is going to have his wish granted, with TMW reporting that an agreement has been reached between the two clubs for an 18 million euros fee. Xhaka will pen a four-year contract at the Stadio Olimpico. Rui Patricio's move from Wolves to Roma is completed on Wednesday, but the Premier League side have acted quickly to secure his replacement, with Olympiacos goalkeeper Jose Sasset to arrive at Malinex for £6.8 million. Chelsea have launched an official bid to try and sign Borussia Dortmund striker Erling Holland, say Sky Sport Germany, but the offer has been turned down. Giorgio Cellini is technically a free agent after his contract at Juventus came to an end on June 30th, but the 36-year-old is still expected to pen a new deal with the Bayanconi. Now, let's move on to major news of today's video. Gianluigi Donnarumma, Italy's hero in the Euro 2020 final against England, has officially made his move to Ligue 1 Giants Paris Saint-Germain, yet his arrival brings some challenges for head coach Mauricio Pochettino. 
Already riddled with doubts over Kylian Mbappé's future, Neymar's ever-complicated ego and Sergio Ramos' position in the starting eleven due to the already established Marquinhos and Prisnel Kimpem. Pochettino now has decided on who will be his number one between the sticks out of Donnarumma and current incumbent Keeler Navas. It is no surprise that Keeler has not welcomed Donnarumma's arrival. However, with Donnarumma arriving after winning Euro 2020 and being named player of the tournament, Keeler will have to fight hard to keep his place as PSG's number one. PSG are also going to have to address their abundance of goalkeepers. As well as Keeler and Donnarumma, they also have Sergio Rico, Alexander Letelier and Alphonse Areola on the books, as well as Messi's contract. Barcelona must be careful when it comes to other contracts they hold with their various sponsors. The fact that Messi is technically not a blogger on a player right now could cause some problems in terms of using the Argentine in promotions. Sponsors, logically, don't like this uncertainty or the way to be able to work with Messi again. They'd like the new contract to be ratified as soon as possible and Barcelona would too, especially as several contracts with major club sponsors come to an end in 2021. For now, though, all everyone involved with Barcelona can do is remain patient. There is an agreement in principle. Now, the lawyers and accountants must dot some I's and cross some T's. Quite a few of them, actually. Barcelona have already cleared some wages by moving on Trincao, Junior Firpo, Conor de la Fuente, Jean Claire Tadebo, and Carl Zelina. But, this is like putting pennies into the piggy bank and hoping it'll prove enough to save up for a Ferrari. To clear the space necessary for Messi, a big name star will have to depart. The players most likely to do so are Philippe Coutinho, Ausmane Dembel, or Antoine Griezmann, with the latter linked with a swap deal to return to Atletico Madrid in place of Saul. Barcelona would then have to find a way to register Saul too, but he is a player they have long admired and a player they were given the right of first refusal over when they sold David Villa to Adelty all the way back in 2013. The Dutchman has called time on a stellar 21-year career after a brief second spell with the Red Avisi outfit Groningen. Ex-Bayern Munich and Chelsea star Arjen Robben has announced his retirement from professional football at the age of 37. Robben initially decided to hang up his boots in 2019 after his final season at Bayern, but performed a U-turn a year later by returning to Groningen, the club where he initially began his career in 2000. Although the Eredivisie outfit reportedly offered the winger the chance to sign a fresh one-year deal earlier this summer, he has opted to walk away from the game permanently after an injury-ravaged 2020-2021 campaign. Robin has confirmed the news in an official statement on his social media accounts, while also posting a short message to his followers. Dear football friends, I have decided to stop my active football career. The caption on his latest Twitter post reads, A very difficult choice. I want to thank everyone for all the heartwarming support. Regards, Arjun. Juventus Vice President Pavel Nedved has revealed that the club are awaiting Cristiano Ronaldo's return to training with the rest of his teammates, which will come once the Portuguese star's holidays are over. After finishing as the Euro 2020 top scorer, the Portuguese is enjoying some downtime and will report back to Juventus training later in the summer. As Ned claimed in an interview with the IZN, Ronaldo has expressed no intention to depart the club this summer, with his contract running until 2022. The former Juventus midfielder also revealed that Ronaldo's return to Turin is scheduled for around July 25th, with Soraya set to kick off almost a month later. Ned was not the only Juventus director who talked about Ronaldo showing no signs that he wants to leave, as the club's sporting director Federico Cherubini also expressed his belief that Ronaldo will stay at the old lady. There was no sign from Ronaldo about the possibility of leaving, said Cherubini. Fans of Barcelona were able to wake up with an extra spring in their step on Thursday morning, following Wednesday's reports that the number 10 has reached an agreement in principle to extend his stay with the Catalan club. Messi is content once again and the newly crowned Copa America champion is looking forward to competing for club silverware in the club's funky new blog run a kid in 2021-2022. But, why hasn't an official announcement been made? What still needs to be resolved for the deal to be signed, sealed and delivered? The player's new contract is expected to be a five-year deal that will link him to the Catalan club until 2026. However, it is widely expected that the number 10 will only actually play for the La Liga Santander side for the next couple of years. He could then move to MLS and act as a club ambassador, remaining on the Blagrana payroll. In essence, the club would be able to spread the money of Messi's final contract over several years. The reports on Wednesday spoke about a salary reduction of approximately 50%. Even with Messi's huge pay cut, this deal still isn't over the finish line. Barcelona need to register Messi and their other summer signings, such as Memphis to pay, Sergio Agro and Eric Garcia, through La Liga and they must meet the league spending requirements. Real Madrid's number one transfer priority this summer remains as Kylian Mbappé, but the Frenchman's current club, Paris Saint-Germain, will not let go of their prize asset lightly, and their Qatari hierarchy are considering offering Kylian Mbappé a mammoth new contract to try and keep him in the French capital.
Yet, even though that proposal would take Killian Mbappé wage to a similar level as Neymar, money might not be enough in this scenario. Tillian Mbappé feels he cannot achieve all his ambitions in the game where he is, and therefore he feels he has to move on. He has communicated that decision to sporting director Leonardo, President Nasser al khalifi and coach Mauricio Pochettino, and though relations remain cordial, particularly so with Pochettino, the 22-year-old's mind seems to be made up. PSG know that the threat of Kylian Mbappé leaving is real, and they have been weighing up other world stars that could replace him. While this situation sorts itself out, PSG need to balance the books to accommodate the arrivals of Sergio Ramos, Gianluigi Donnarumma and Jorginho Wijnaldum, whose arrivals might have been on a free but whose salaries have nonetheless sent the club's wage bill spiraling. As for Real Madrid, they hope that they can somehow get Kylian Mbappé through the doors. Kylian Mbappé wants to be the figurehead of a team, something he doesn't get at PSG with Neymar around and at Real Madrid, he would be more likely to attain that status. This was the end for our 55th episode. We will be back with more interesting news and transfer rumors tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.